real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Desiree Melendez met the defendant while modeling, and they decided to go into the casting business together. Desiree claims the defendant is a hothead, and she often angered clients and models. Desiree is suing because she claims the defendant stole $4,000 from her. Defendant Maria Derenson knows she can be spicy, but insists it's because she's from New Jersey. Maria admits that she invested Desiree's $4,000 in the stock market, and unfortunately, she lost it all. But she insists Desiree knew she was making the investment, and it was a risk she was willing to take. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. Please be seated. Start with you. I mean, so a background about myself oh, growing yes. up, I was always mm -hmm. self-conscious and very quiet and reserved because I was overweight. And you were up, overweight? Up until the age of 16, yes. So I was... I had some insecurity issues and then I lost the weight and I started modeling when I was 18 wow. and then um, I got into music videos and film and that's where I met Maria in film and then after that there was a video that received a lot of backlash so I kind of decided to step. One that you performed in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Backlash from what social media or something? Yeah there was just a bunch of rude comments and mm -hmm. people were like threatening me and going crazy so I decided to step back and go behind the scenes and I started a casting agency and I asked Maria to be my partner so then we became business partners so she was also my friend and a really close business partner. You what know? do you do when you're uh, interviewing or casting for uh, music videos? What are you looking for? It's just a specific look so we'll look at their photos and then how they act behind the camera, how they are in videos. Because part of the video, I would think, is what well, I know as when you look at them, they're mm -hmm. entertainment that has been practiced and rehearsed. And so when they come in, they bring you something or you just have to see it live as they cast in front of them? No, so it's virtually mainly. So okay. it's pretty much how they, how photogenic they are. Okay. And how has it been working, the two of you um, working together? Yeah, so eventually I started to realize that Maria does have anger issues and she can be very aggressive. And there were a lot of times where I had to calm her down with clients, with models, and pretty much handle the situation and say, like, you know, just leave it alone, just stop responding, or just, you know, it's not an issue anymore and have to calm them down. So it kind of caused a strain on our relationship. And See, you play into the stereotype of Latino women and some other. In Jersey, it's Jersey. No, this hot-headed, <laughs> like to it's tell that, that man off, get hot-headed with them. Huh? I said, it's that border, like that Jersey, New York border. Like, she from New York, she's cool, whatever. I'm like, I'm a little more spicy. So let me hear from you, young lady. Well, good evening, Your Honor. Um, my name is Maria. So a little bit about myself. Like, I came to this country with my mom and my brother when I was, like, six years old. We're all immigrants. We're from legal now, though. Uh, we came from Peru. Okay. Yes. So fast forward to, like, my teenage years, um, when I was, like, 16 or so, me and my mom really didn't have, like, the best of relationships. Um... So it kind of left me, like, homeless at 16 because, like, I did, like, everything right, you know. Like, I got good grades, graduated high school at 16, got a full scholarship to college, the whole nine. But then I never had, like, any type of freedom. Like, I was never, like, able to hang out with my friends or whatever. So instead of, like, you know, going to my classes, I started, like, hanging out with my friends. And that kind of, like, got me kicked out of my house. So I just like started fending for myself ever since I was like 16. So then I started getting into modeling and I started taking my career really seriously. That's how I met Desiree. Um, and like we became, we're cool or whatever, but I wouldn't really call her like a dependable friend. Like for example, like I needed a place to stay one time, but then she told me like, like when I was on my way to her house, she told me like, hey, I'm gonna go to Miami instead. So she kind of like left me high and dry. So I kind of had got like a feel or what type of like friendship it was. Like it was like, you know, kind of like whatever. 
yeah, like that's how we got. So what type of modeling have you all done? Runway or magazine? No, I'm too short for runway. I did music videos too. Okay. That's how I started off doing music videos. And then, um, you know, I figured I wasn't going to be everybody's like look. Like not everybody's going to want to like book me, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody has a preference. So then that's how I got into casting and that's how like we merged in together. Got it. And what do you look for when you're casting? The client like usually has like a specific look like they want, so we go for whatever they are. So looking. the client does tell you. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So I go for whatever the client wants, and then um, get sheets ready of all the different models that are available during the day, and ship them, like um, send that off to the client, and then he makes his selections, he or she. And it's legal. This is legal. <laughs> 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 this is legal. How has it been working, the two of you um, working together? Yeah, so eventually I started to realize that Maria does have anger issues and she can be very aggressive. And so you play into the stereotype of Latino women and some other... Jersey, it's Jersey. No, this hot-headed, <laughs> like to it's tell that, that man off, get hot-headed with them. Huh? I said it's that border, like that Jersey, New York border, like she from New York, she's cool, whatever. I'm like, I'm a little more spicy. Plaintiff Desiree Melendez went into the casting business with the defendant. And she claims the defendant was a hothead who often angered their clients. What you suing us about <laughs> <laughs> at this 2500 this short money? What's she suing you about this short money? Okay, so let me tell you. So we was looking into an apartment because, you know, like, I was looking to move to a place, but I thought, you know, two people are better than one. So, like, you know, two people paying rent, splitting bills. Can't go wrong, right? So we um, looked at some places like back in October and we found a spot. It was like $5,500. It was pretty expensive as the city. So, you know, it was a little pricey. So um, we got, we agreed on a place and then I had the bright idea to like invest our money into the stock market. Like she gave me her portion of the money, which was like $4,000 or whatever and I invested it into the stock market. She would claim to say like she wasn't aware of like what I was doing, but she was very aware of what I was doing. Like she knew what I was gonna do. So I went and I invested my our money and unfortunately like around December, January, the stock like crashed. So we kind of lost all the $8,000 that I invested. Let me hear from you ma'am on this. What do you assume? I, she lied about me knowing that she was gonna invest the money and- The money came from? I sent her 4000 when she told me in October that she wanted to get a place together. And I said, okay, but that's not something that I had any experience in. Like, I live with my family still, mm -hmm. so I still live at home. I'm an only child, so I was like, okay, yeah, I trust her, so I'm going to, you know, try. And she knew all of this. Mm -hmm. So she's not an investor. She just decided, oh, you know, like this is something that might go well or whatever. She and didn't ask you first or no. tell you even, no. hey, I'm gonna put some of this money in. She the did stock not. Market. And I have the receipts also of the messages of me asking. So her. tell me, when she did come back and tell you she lost all the money, how did that occur? I'm just. It was months later. So months went by of me asking her what's going on, what is the, the guy saying, like what's happening. And I just pretty much thought it's a process. You know, it's going to take some time for us to move in for the paperwork or anything it was. And she was just ignoring it. And she would keep changing the subject and bringing up other things. And I just kept asking her. And months later, about five months later, maybe, that's when she told me, OK, I invested it and I lost everything. And I was like, Maria, what? And that was her the reaction. The stock market right isn't guaranteed. Like, things go up, things go down. Like, I wasn't. It's a risk you have to be willing to take. And at the moment I took the risk, I took the wrong risk, and I lost everything. That's but, not what I gave her the money but for. But I gave her part of the money back. Like, I gave her $1,500 back. You know, like around March, I gave her $1,500 back, which is not the total. What stocks did she tell you she wanted you to invest her money in? She didn't, um, like, she wasn't experienced in the stock market mm -hmm. either. So I just seen like this stock like booming around in the internet, you know, TikToks and whatnot. So I'm like, you know what? It sounds you got like your stock tip from TikTok, man. Yes. <laughs> man. It made sense at the time. It made sense. It made sense. 
So if I'm to believe this game, you know, I don't believe any of this. You know that, right? She popped that off at the club. Go ahead. No, I did not. But I have proof that I invested the stock and I have proof. Of oh, like, did you really? OK, yes. well, I thought you would just no. give me some and game. Then, what page? Um, I want to see what page is it? Oh, here you go. I don't believe you. Uh, it's on page two. That's when the stock was back down to three thousand dollars. She's not an investor. She just decided, oh, you know, like this is something that might go well or whatever. She didn't ask you first or no. tell you even, no. hey, I'm going to put some of this money in She the did stock not. Market. And I have the receipts also of the messages of me asking. So her. tell me, when she did come back and tell you she lost all the money, how did that occur? I'm just. It was months later. Plaintiff Desiree Melendez went into the casting business with the defendant, and she claims the defendant was a hothead who often angered their clients. Ma'am, you did not get her permission to use her money for any other reason than for the place. And that's called conversion. And it could be criminal conversion, depending on the circumstances. She refers to it as stolen money, but it is conversion, meaning you convert someone's money to a use different than what they gave it to you for. By give him money and say, Keith, um, go and buy me a new gavel. And instead he comes back with a Coca-Cola. Well, he's converted my money into a use that I didn't tell. I told him I'm going to get a gavel. You come back with a Coke, you converted my money to another use. But if this is my benefit, no problem. But if he bought a Coke for himself, he's going to jail. But I found out I was like, pregnant in February this year. So I told her, you don't got to play my baby shower. Like, I feel like that should like even out, you know? Cause now she don't got to- this to me, she did. Now she don't got to like put in no money on finding like no hall, no preparator. Like it's fine, we're good. All right, I'm gonna grant you your judgment. Um, she used the money for a purpose different than which you sent it to her for. That's called conversion. All right, judgment for the plaintiff. Good luck to both you ladies. That's crazy. She said I was an unreliable friend. She wants me to put 2,500 for a baby shower. Bruh, halls are expensive. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. She wants me to give her more money? No. Uh, now, now. Now I gotta give you back your money. I still need a baby shower gift. 